The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. With great simcha, we went to Eretz Yisrael last Wednesday for a chasana of our grandchild. HaKadosh Baruch Hu also performed a chesed nifla with us on what night was it? Uh, Sunday night. We were in the airport and everybody told us to go five hours before the flight because the lines are longer than the wait that we waited for Mashiach. And they told us the traffic is backed up back to Yerushalayim. Come on. I said, you know, at my age and with my experience, I know one thing. Oilam Sheker and Oilam Kosov. The Nafkamina is there are people that have Bitachin. And there are people that believe in the radios, in the news. I have a Muna and Bitachin, what the radio says, Ki Uzekla. We went normal time to the airport. We made it to the front. Itaka was massive packed. I told my Robinson, don't worry about it. You're going to get to the front of the line within two minutes. Don't worry about it. The minutes, Robinson, we're in front of the line. You come to the, 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 the place where they, you know, they check you in. The passport control. They take your passport. They ask for your ticket. And then they notified me. It took them a while. They weren't. They said, usually give a stamp and give you the ticket. The lady tells me there's a problem with your tickets. You don't have tickets. I said, I don't have tickets? Okay. What, what did I just give you? She said, they're not tickets. Okay. She said, let me call my manager. So I'm in, shows up. Middle-aged guy, doesn't look like the most friendly to Haredim type of person. Try to give him a big smile. Just looked at me like he came from Deutschland. And he says, there's a problem. Come with me. I said, can we get ticketed on the plane? No, no, come with me. He takes us to a different place, totally, where there's no lines. He opens the lights. It says over there, ticketing office. I'm here to inform you, he says, that you don't have any tickets for the plane. I said, you know, not only do I have tickets, but this is one of the first times in my life that I can remember that we actually paid cash for the tickets. Usually I buy tickets of miles. I never pay cash for tickets. And the bill was ten and a half thousand dollars for three tickets. <clears throat> I said, sir, we've got tickets. And he proceeds to show me and make me copies that whoever issued these tickets deceived you terribly. Because they gave you child tickets. He says to me, Israel, you born in 2015? That's what it says here. And you're... F- Fellow travel mate, Mr. Schwartz, was he born in 2018? He said, I don't think so. We didn't come here in a carriage. We weren't pushing each other. He says, on your, on your thing, he says, they didn't make one mistake. Ten mistakes were made in each ticket. You know what that tells me? It wasn't a mistake. It was a forgery. Somebody ripped you off major league. You got ripped off. I said, <clears throat> so, so what do we do? He said, you really have no choice. He was checking, looking, to try, he said, I'm trying to figure out maybe there was some kind of mistake. He said, call your travel agent. I called the travel agent. The travel agent couldn't figure it out. The travel agent spoke to this guy on the phone. The guy explained the very clear. He said, about, you, don't, you never gave these people tickets. He said, the plane is full if you want to go back. There's two tickets left on the, on the flight. 
But since you're buying them so near the flight, it was getting very close to the flight time at time. I didn't go five hours before. It was like an hour before. He said, I'm, I can sell you one for $4,100, and I can sell you the other one for $4,800. So right away, I was aware that Hashem was challenging. Now, what are you doing to the case? al What would you do? You know what I said? Baruch Hashem. I said, one of the next stops we're taking is in Istanbul. I said, I'm so happy this didn't happen in Istanbul. It happened, but it's Turkish. Uh, flight, you know, place we go leave over here. That's what happened. I'm stuck in your air to so I said, what's, what's the worst that's going to happen? We'll go back to your shalai. You no, know, I can think of worse things. I said, I said, that's maybe a bracha. I said, I know the bracha would be very happy that I'm stuck in your so <laughs> That I was sure of. And also, I'll also be happy. My wife says, we don't have where to go back to because the place we were at was being occupied starting from today. I don't know. Hashem has lots of places. My wife kept on saying, Eneid Mulvadri, Eneid Mulvadri. You're saying, tell him. I said, Eneid Mulvadri doesn't make, doesn't make sense here. I said, Eneid Mulvadri means it's a mistake on your ticket, Eneid Mulvadri. Could you say Eneid Mulvadri and walk onto a plane with Eneid Mulvadri if you don't have a ticket? It's called Yesh Me'ayin. It's not normal. You gotta have some kind of ticket. The kids are, he was standing around making plans of how should we get back to Shalaya, how should we get there, there. Fifteen minutes goes by, and this German looking gentleman comes back and says, Oh, you're still standing here? I said, Yes, we are. I said, What are you doing? We're contemplating. We're contemplating what to do, our next step. He walks away, comes back five minutes later, and he says to me, I'm going to do something now that I never in my life ever did. And I never in my life would ever do. And even now that I'm doing it, you should consider it like I didn't do it. He brand new tickets. Enjoy your trip. I booked you through, all the way through till you're home. So you never have to show, no one's going to look in the computer anymore to double check anything about you. You're on the flight. I turned to the man and I said, Sir, I wanted to tell you one thing. I said, Are you familiar with the points and miles system? This night was a very big night for you. You earned yourself a lot of points and a lot of miles. Let me give you one suggestion. Use them wisely. He says, what miles? I said, upstairs. In God's book, you got yourself some serious points. I told Hashem, you see Hashem, you showed me a new Chiddush, that it's possible to get on a plane with no tickets, and I shouldn't give you tickets. He says, go get your money back from the guy. He said, you did the tickets. He said, never gave you tickets. He took your money. He never gave you tickets. That was a very nice ending to our flight. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.